This trader made $1.2 million, $165,000, someone owes the broker $619,000 and this trader turned just 24 k to $356,000. And we are starting off with an insane gain by Fausterion who in the past made a series of $1 million plus gains. He got his account to $6 million and he made it his life mission to get his account to $10 million. And after almost a month of silence, he's back with another $1.2 million gain. As usual, he traded a couple of positions, with the first one being a $724,000 gain from just 75 k because he bought a NDX bull call spread expiring on June the 15th, which is a strategy where you buy a call with a strike price slightly higher than the current price of the stock and simultaneously sell a call with a much higher strike price. Both of the options have to have the same expiration date and you lose money if the stock falls below the lower strike price and make money if it rises above it. But at the same time you limit your losses to the initial cost of the spread and you make maximum profit if the stock price rises above the higher strike price. But at the same time you won't make more money if it continues rising. Anyway, he also bought 3895 PBR call options with a striking price at $14 and expiration date on July 21st. He bought them for just 47k and now they are worth 243k. He also bought around 25k worth of Nvidia calls with a striking price at $410 and now he's up around 177k. And his last trade was Nvidia bull spread on which he turned 20k to 170k. I mean do you guys even realize how rare it is to make just one 10x gain and this trader made 3 more than 5x gains at the same time. Not to even mention making several 10x gains in the previous months. And one of the most insane parts is that he first started trading when he got out of college with just about 25k, but that was a long time ago. And the next day he posted a 1.1 million dollars gain titled Electric Boogaloo. And we can see that among his positions are the NDX bull call spread that we have already talked about, some Microsoft and Q and Apple bull call spreads and meta calls. And we can also see that his account is worth 7 million 227 thousand dollars, so he's getting close to his original 10 million dollars goal as he already withdrew 1.7 million dollars earlier in the week. He mostly carried over positions except for the two NQ calls he picked up on the overnight dip and he'll probably liquidate everything before close except for the June the 30th expiration calls. But how did he get so good at finding such profitable trades? Well when he first started trading he got sucked in by the perma bearish gold bug crowd and was quite bearish so he lost a ton of money money on shitty mining plays like JNOC and NAK. Then afterwards he figured out they were all ideological fools not worth listening to. So the truth is it's much easier to make money as a bull on the stock market because the market goes up over time. When he's bearish he simply sits in cash and waits for a buying opportunity. He does occasionally play with some puts on companies he thinks are thirds but 95% of his plays are long and despite posting just gains he also makes losses as he was down by 250k last Wednesday buying the dip that kept dipping. But hopefully he'll get to that end goal of 10 million dollars as he's honestly the first trader on Wall Street Bets I think actually has a chance of making it. And he's not the only one making huge gains. As trader by the name of Raza M posted his final update of buying 24k in Tesla calls on December the 27th of 2022. More specifically he bought 44 Tesla calls with a striking price at $180 and expiration date on June the 16th, worth just $24,115 and now they are worth $156,400. And even though just 4 months ago he said he wouldn't hold them until expiry, he did just that and his patience luckily paid off. Unfortunately though there are a lot more traders losing huge amounts of money. For example Jim C. Belfort thinks his life is over as he has a brokerage account deficit of $619,025.26 and I kid you not this must be one of the dumbest things I have ever seen someone do in Wall Street Bets. He took a bank loan with his parents' inheritance as collateral, took the loan and got on margin. He was letting emotion take over and essentially sold all shares and bought back his shorts after first green day. Then he took the money and went all in on far out of the money naked shorts. Obviously he lost more and then he rolled the positions farther out of the money the following day and kept doing this until he figured it was a bull run today and sold puts instead. And of course the market goes
lose against him like always. After posting this loss on Wall Street Bets, he posted in personal finance subreddit asking how to file for bankruptcy and then in Christianity subreddit with a title turning to God at his lowest point, saying that he was never a religious person but he wants to be accepted into something and be a better person. And his final advice being, quit now, options are rigged and ultimately controlled by market makers and hedge funds. If you don't want to quit options, at least stay away from selling options and a margin account. If he could go back, he wouldn't have done it this way, but it's too late for him. So if you're ever in this situation, just remember health is more important than wealth and you can always make more money. Sadly, we have another trader who lost his life savings. I am Christian Dick even thinks he should apply for disability as he lost $106,134.03 since he started trading. To be fair though, he did have one huge win that made him around $50,000 which was because of AMC. And since then, he's made repeatedly stupid trades thinking he could make it all back. So he's currently deep into worthless Nvidia puts. Sadly, he had a cancer scare earlier this year and he really just went full gas, no breaks and he thankfully made it through. But yeah, he went yoloing to the extreme. And in contrast to the previous two traders, trader by the name of Carvana's Moon posted an insane gain as he's up by 245% or $251,193.09 in the past month. Which means he started with just around $30,000. And as you could have already guessed by his name, he's up by so much because he bought a lot of Carvana call options with different strike prices expiring on June the 16th, 23rd, 30th, July the 7th, 21st and 28th. He started buying them on May the 2nd at around $7 right before the initial run up. He sold and bought a car through them, enjoyed the process and it seemed like public perception of them was very outdated. People are still pricing it as a bankrupt stock and it has potential to take over a huge market share. He said this stock was gonna fly on Friday but it unfortunately dropped by 4% so hopefully he secured some profits. And last but not least we have a huge loss by Hotblot27 who's asking for penny stock suggestions to invest in. As he lost 100% or $39,324.66 and is left with just 84 cents. And I think this is one of the only times I've also seen the same buying power. Because usually when people post their huge losses they still have some positions open. But not this guy. He somehow managed to get his account below a dollar. And from his trading history we can see that he was buying spy options, Nvidia put debit spreads and a lot of Mara options. He has no savings left from his three and a half years of employment. And he lost his last 2.5k hoping spy would go down when he entered and exactly then it ran up crazy. Then to make it back he put 5k in another binary trading platform and everything went against him and he lost that as well in an hour. Now he doesn't have enough savings for his wedding. Man feels bad but this honestly just sounds like a gambling addiction. So I hope he gets some help. And if you want to see how this trader turned just $400 into $65,000 in just a month, click on the video that just popped up. And I just want to thank everyone for watching, liking, commenting and subscribing and helping me get to 600 subscribers and now you can help me get to 700 subscribers. If you have any questions or recommendations leave them in the comments down below and thanks for watching.